Lieutenant, Mr. Mayor, honorable guests, ladies and gentlemen, good afternoon, welcome, and thank you for joining us as we unveil and dedicate our memorial. Quite rightly, each year at Remembrance Time, we gather in our garden to honor the memory of the brave men and women of Randall's Town and District who voluntarily served and all too often laid down their lives in two world wars and many other conflicts to protect the democracy and freedoms that we enjoy today. Their names should never be forgotten. Several decades ago, a new generation of men and women from our district set forward and volunteered to serve in 15th platoon of the Ulster Defence Regiment. They came home from their daily employment, changed into uniform, and proceeded to patrol the streets, highways, and byways 
of Randall's Town and District to be the front line of defence to protect their community from the evils of terrorism that ravaged our country. Their names must be remembered as well. Many of these volunteers are no longer with us. Frank Carter, Colin Chillington, Jack Arlen, Isaac Dixon, Tommy McNeely, Ronan Templeton, Alan Napoli, Robert Clarewithy, Jennifer Stewart, Charlie Mulholland, Billy Esther. Happily, however, there are still a few of us left. And I will ask you to welcome into the garden veterans of 15 to 10. We shall draw not old, as we who are left grow old. Age shall not weary them, nor the years condemn. At the going down of the sun, and in the morning, we will remember. We will remember them.
Patterson off to the French Regiment and Major Chris Turner of the Royal Irish Regiment to unveil the memorial. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, aside from men and women who served, there's also a pastoral side as well to the families. And for those of us who, during the recent troubles, wore a uniform and served the community, there was a tremendous sense of pride. There was also a prevailing sense of fear. Maybe not for ourselves, but certainly for the loved ones that we left behind at home. Not only did we have to check our doors and windows and cars every morning, but our loved ones did the same because the enemy didn't discriminate. We joined and lived as a family within the umbrella of a security force family. The knock on the door in the middle of the night with no one there, the phone call answered and no one there, the car that slowly 
past your house and men looked in before speeding off. The shots had rang out, killing the silence and the person are wounding or missing and the heart jumping a beat. Fallen comrades hurt us all deeply. And yet we considered it an honour to wear the uniform and to pledge allegiance to Queen and country. And to do it all for the benefit of everyone, for peace, for our way of life, for the Union, to uphold the law as the Bible commands us to do. So many deaths, so many injuries, so many proud memories, yet so many bad memories. So much sadness and yet so much respect for the organizations in which we served. And we are grateful to Almighty God for the association and the memory of each and every one of them. I finish with Ephesians 6, which says, Finally, my brethren, be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. Put on the whole armor of God, that you may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. For we do not wrestle against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers and against the rulers of the darkness of this age. Against spiritual hosts of wickedness in the heavenly places. Therefore take up the whole armor of God, that you may be able to withstand in the evil day. And having done all, to stand. Amen. I hand over at this point to the Reverend Canon Derek Kerr. In dedicating this Ulster Defence Regiment monument, we give thanks to God as we do so for the women and men in whose memory it stands those who lost their lives in service of their queen, country and community. Those who made it to a more, shall we say, normal death, but still are no longer with us. As well as those who still suffer physically and perhaps mentally because of the same service that they give. We give thanks also for the foresight of those who planned this particular tribute and the skill that went into making it. So in the name of God the Father who created all of us, in the name of God the Son who gave his life to offer any who will eternal life, in the name of God the Holy Spirit who promises to keep us in God's love, in the name of this God, Father, Son and Holy Spirit, I now on your behalf dedicate this memorial to the glory of God and in memory of the men and women of the Ulster Defence Regiment. Amen. And I invite Fred Hand, Mr. Fred Hand, Clerk of Session of Second Randallstown Presbyterian Church to bring us the Bible reading. Let us hear the word of God as we find it in Deuteronomy chapter 20. Principles of governing warfare. When you go out to battle against your enemies and see horses and chariots and people with more numerous than you, don't be afraid of them. For the Lord your God is with you. He brought you up from the land of Egypt. So it shall be. When you're on the verge of battle, that the priests shall approach and speak to the people. And he shall say to them, Hear, O Israel, today you are on the verge of battle with your enemies. Do not let your heart be faint. Do not be afraid. Do not tremble or be terrified because of them. For the Lord your God is he who goes with you to fight for you against your enemies. Friends, on your order of service is Psalm 46, God is our refuge. And I invite you to turn to that page and we will now sing that wonderful hymn.
minister of Randallstown Free Presbyterian Church to bring us the closing prayer and the benediction. Let's bear together in a word of prayer. Our gracious God and eternal Father in heaven, Lord, we lift up our hearts today in thanksgiving unto thee. Lord, as we think of all those who have served so faithfully and courageously, Lord, even in all that has just been discussed. We thank thee, Lord, for those in the Ulster Defence Regiment who, Lord, not only volunteered, Lord, to serve, but many of them laid down their lives in defence of the civil and the religious liberties that we enjoy today. And Father, we also remember in a broader sense all those that are serving for the security of this nation today. And we pray that thou would watch over them, protect them and bless them. Lord, we owe much today indeed to the sacrifices and the service of those that have gone before us. And Lord, we thank you that it is the right thing to remember that faithful service that was done not only unto thee, but also on behalf of each and every one of us. And Father, we do pray that you bless each and every one that is here today, who have given of their time, to acknowledge, Lord, indeed, that wonderful work that was done. And so, Father, we just do now commit our souls, and indeed, this service today unto thee. And Lord, we pray that the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, our Heavenly Father, will abide and remain with each and every one from this day until evermore. Amen. Thank you, gentlemen. May I just remind everyone at, uh, at the conclusion of the parade then Lakewood Community Centre refreshments are provided, so please join us. Ladies and gentlemen, the master anthem.
Thank you very much for turning up and taking part in a wonderful career. Well done.
gentlemen, on behalf of Grand Story Branch and the EDR Association, thank you very much for turning up and taking part in a wonderful career. Well done. <coughs> All right! Yes! Yes! The time has come to say goodnight For every road must stand And to those who care and are always there Our very special friends So let's say goodnight to those we love And maybe shed a tear but before we close, let's think of those Where love who can't be near So let's raise your glass to absent friends For every road must stand You'll always be here in our hearts Our special absent friends 
And when it's time for us to go And our long journey ends You'll never be alone, you'll see You'll be with absent friends So let's raise your glass to absent friends For every road must stand You'll always be here in our hearts Our special absent friends